I've got a fun family dinner idea for you. Today, we're going to make walking tacos. They're actually called walking tacos because you eat them out of a bag so you can walk around. Um, it is perfect for parties, perfect for game days, perfect for honestly any night of the week. It's kids, uh, kids friendly and adult approved. We all love them because you get to pick what goes inside your own taco. The best part is, is it catches all the mess of a taco. You're going to love it. I just love it. My name is Carrie with eatingonadime.com and we're on a mission to help families eat well on a budget. You can get today's recipe linked in the description below or just by going to our site eatingonadime.com. Use that search box and type in walking tacos because you're going to love this recipe. Let's go make some tacos. First, we're going to preheat a skillet over medium-high heat. I kind of like to start off with high when we're browning it, and then we're going to turn it down low when we start adding our seasonings. We've got two pounds of lean ground beef that we're going to brown up first. I am using this meat separator. I have it linked in the recipe and in um, the description below, but it helps break apart this to give this meat that perfect crumbles that we like. So what you do is you'll break it apart a little bit, then spread it out and let it begin to brown, and then you'll come back and break it up again. Now that the meat is completely browned, you want to make sure you drain off any grease and then we're going to add our seasonings. We're going to add a half a cup of salsa. I'm just using picani sauce, just a cheap red salsa will work. Then two tablespoons of taco seasoning. You can also just throw in a packet, but today I'm using my homemade taco seasoning. We just keep it in a little jar and I have that recipe linked for you as well. Once those are mixed in, we're going to turn this to low and we're going to mix this all together and allow those flavors to combine for about three to five minutes. And this is actually our secret to making the best taco meat. If you want it a little bit juicier, you can add a quarter cup of water, but I don't think I'm going to need it today. Now that the meat is finished, we just got our toppings ready. You can do any kind of toppings that you would do for tacos, but we just did lettuce, tomatoes, and cheese. And then you're going to need the individual bags of Doritos. If you don't want to use these, you can just buy a big bag of Doritos and just throw them in bowls, but they're, this is what makes walking tacos so fun. If you're making this for family, then this is just a perfect setup. But if you are making this for like people to come over, I like to throw this meat into a small crock pot and keep it on warm. That way the meat stays warm and people can just come through the line and make their walking tacos whenever they please. We have done this for parties multiple like for a decade we have been doing this and we have been loving this recipe and we throw it in the crock pot every single time when you're actually making and you can even write it out for people if you're having friends over but all you need is a bag of doritos we're doing doritos but you can actually use fritos ranch doritos or you can even put out a different variety of chips that people can you know can try but doritos are our favorite the very first thing you want them to do is to squish the chips and do a little dance. Once you're finished with that, then it's time to cut off the top. Now, a lot of people will tell you to go sideways because it's easier to open and that's great. But for me, I have to do off the top because it drives me crazy that Doritos are sideways. But either one works, nobody's going to judge you. So you'll cut off the top and this is all your chips inside to make your taco. Once that's finished, you can then add whatever toppings you want inside. So a scoop of meat, some lettuce, some cheese, and tomatoes or whatever topping you would like. All that's left is a fork and you just mix it up 
and dive in. This is one of our family favorites. I mean, I think I've said this a hundred times in this video, how much we love this recipe because you can make it your own. Other toppings include sour cream, salsa, anything that you would like. And I would love it if you would drop a comment below with what toppings you would put with your walking tacos. And if you've ever had walking tacos. Now friends, we're done. But before we go, make sure you like and like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any more of our family friendly recipes. And if you haven't yet, you can get the full link, the full recipe in the link in the description and you can, or you can just go by eating on a dime.com and type in the code walking tacos. And in case you didn't catch on the reason they're walking tacos, see, look, we can walk around. I will see you next time in my kitchen. Bye friends.